Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay. No team means more to a city than the Packers to Green Bay. And this was the scene a few moments ago as the green and gold made their way out of the historic tunnel. They're ready to go as they get set to match up with Ben Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Rodgers going to throw. This one swung out here to Jones. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it'll be third down. Now a play fake. Rodgers. Got a man. It's Tunyon. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Flush to his right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. And he got blown up, losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Rodgers with a give, it's Aaron Jones. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. <laughs> Throwing his Rodgers on third down. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. A give to Jones. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Rodgers now to throw. He finds Randall Cobb with a completion. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. On play action, Rodgers. They'll roll him out right. This is Cobb with a catch right side. And he's going to have a Packers first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. Rodgers now on first down. Forced out to his left. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Torn back across his body. Joe Hayden, the veteran, with a pick. There he goes. Let's see. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. Well, you don't want to coach him, Charles, to stay in the pocket on every play, but I guess that's the danger of getting outside of the pocket, extending a play, and making a bad throw. Turns into six points the other way. Yeah, sometimes when you get outside the pocket, your, your vision actually gets obscured a little bit, or you narrow it down too much, and you don't see all the defenders in the area. Steeler football here to begin quarter number two. Rodgers on the return. 
And out a little across the 25 to the 27. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And following the pick six, and they decent field position and throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back in. They told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Throwing now is Rodgers. This is Lazard with a catch out left. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Now here's a whistle as flags come in. And we'll check out the call. And they get the guard there, Lucas Patrick. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. To throw, it's Rodgers. And his throw's going to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Rodgers again now. Flushed out right. And he will slide down with a good game. It'll be a gain of 15 on the play. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. Eluding the pressure right. That is caught at the 7. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Now Jones. And he's brought down right at the 5-yard line. Give him 2 on the play. One back in the game, that's Jones, second and goal. They're going to run the jet sweep. It's Cobb with it. And he goes backwards on this one, losing yardage to the seven. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Here's Rodgers. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Lewis. And no hesitation about this decision here. Confidently, they're going to go for this. Fourth and goal from the three. Throwing is Rodgers. Got a man open. It's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Rodgers will throw for it. 
And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. So why go for that there? First half, you could have tied the game at seven. Why try to get the lead? Feels like an analytics call, doesn't it? That that's starting to really get into the game where they're studying where you can make extra points and the whole deal and you know get an advantage. But I don't know that we have enough data yet to really say this is the right play or the wrong play. Maybe in two or three more NFL say that seasons. Could change. Exactly. Two or three more NFL seasons, they will have a much better study and a much better case of what we're going to do. First and ten, it's Roethlisberger. He finds his target, Ebron. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Big Ben with his size, sometimes it still surprises me when he can dance for a first. He's the preeminent quarterback at taking contact, shedding it, and turning it into a big play. You know what they say about him? It's not the first three seconds of the play that you worry about with him. It's the next three. Takes the hit, and now he creates a big one. Throwing again on second down, Roethlisberger. And he's got his man in stride, complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down, escaping the pressure right. He finds his tight end, Gentry. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10, mark him down at the 9. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Here's Roethlisberger. Buying time to his left. Toward the pylon, caught. And in for the Steelers' touchdown. Eric Ebron. As the first half is winding down. And the Steelers would extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point put through by Boswell. And the lead is up to eight. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Rodgers on the return. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And with Rodgers behind center, you wonder if they'll take one shot at this. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers looking deep for Adams. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked up by a Akello Witherspoon. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. These two teams going through their final adjustments. It's about time for the second half in Green Bay. So for the call, we go back up to Lambeau and Brandon God. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. So time for the second half as the Steelers have the lead and they will also be receiving the football here to start the third quarter. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. The run on first down gets him a couple up to the 27. Second and eight. 
from the shotgun. It's Roethlisberger. Short little throw to Ebron. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They run with Harris. Finding some room at midfield. A big play there. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. 46 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. On second down now, it's Harris, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. And Mike Tomlin going to roll up the sleeves here and say, let's go for it on fourth. They're going on fourth down. It's Roethlisberger to the sideline. And, oh, that's well done. Able to drag the feet. He's going to have the first down. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So a critical mistake roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. They hand this off to Harris, and that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Now they've gotten it to the one. Can they get that final yard here on third and goal? Steps away to his left. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Ben Roethlisberger taking it in from a yard out. And the Steelers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Boswell good with the extra point. And the lead is up to 15 now. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Rodgers on the return. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now... Urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. Back to the air on second down. It's Rodgers being chased out left. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Check, 93, 30. Green to throw is Rodgers. Flush to his right. Rodgers sliding to a stop with a first down. When they watch film of this game and hand out the great sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports.
Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. Rodgers throw taken in by Adams. Seven yards, the pick up there. They'll try the right side with Jones. And bulldozing his way through. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Flushed out right. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Rodgers taking it in from seven yards away. And the Packers get a score closer. So here we go. The Packers will line up to go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And all will be intercepted. Picked up by Cameron Sutton. Well, there's some excitement, right? Going for two. And instead, it gets picked off. And how about the return? Give him a lot of credit, though, for not giving up after the play. Yeah, the troops rally. Exactly. And getting back there and making the tackle and not giving up two points themselves. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They run with Harris. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down, stay in bounds, keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. To throw here, Roethlisberger. Ebron caught left side. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. Second down. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Open man here is Gentry. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And Harris is not gonna get there. Great work defensively to stop him short. Fourth down, here's Roethlisberger, eluding the pressure right. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end, complete. Now all through this one, they've had nothing but success go, go, go. throwing the football and in the passing game. Here we are in the fourth quarter, a time you'd think they'd be running the football. They're still tossing it around and having great success, and it appears a whole lot of fun as well. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Throwing now is Roethlisberger. Escaping the pressure right. And he's got his big tight end here. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And never an easy thing to do, no matter how good Green Bay is, what the year is, to come into Lambeau and get the victory. But they did it. You're not just battling the team that you're playing that day. You're not just battling the crowd that's in attendance in that game. You're battling the history of the franchise. You're battling the ghosts that swirl around that place that help spur them on to victory. It is an unbelievable atmosphere, the most historic place in the league, and you have to make sure you stay focused on your task. Otherwise, you can get easily distracted. Yeah, hats off to them for keeping that laser focus and getting the victory.